Hello there, um, I'm here to read uh, another book for a spring and story time. This one is Grown Your Whale, The Pirate Queen, and it's by John and Fatty Burke, and is published by Gill Books. So, that's what we got here today. This is a non-fiction historical book, and if you like stuff uh, non-fiction-wise, John and Fatty Burke has excellent books called um, Ironopedia and Folkloropedia and stuff like that. Um, really brilliant, excellent, massive, big beautifully illustrated books and this one is beautifully illustrated too so we're gonna have a go with this okay so um we'll try this out so grow on your way the pirate queen <laughs> young Gronya o'malley wanted to be a great sailor and leader she and her parents lived in clue bay in county mayo her father was a merchant with many ships he took her sailing and fishing and taught her all about the tides and the weather Teenage Grania was expected to be a lady and marry a chieftain, but she wanted to go to sea to ha and have adventures. Everyone said that sailing was for boys only, but Grania knew that was just silly. One day she heard that a ship was going to Spain to sell hides and buy wine. Grania wanted to go. Her parents said, Nope, it's too dangerous. Your beautiful long hair will get caught in the rigging and we might lose you. But Grania had a solution. Da, da, da. She cut off her hair and dressed in sailor's clothes. With her hair short, she was called Grania Whale or Ball Grania. And so her parents agreed to let her sail to Spain. <laughs> the sailors on the ship were merchants, but they were also pirates. I had no idea why they did that either. So Grania, be Grania Whale became a sailor on her father's ship and sometimes robbed other ships too. Da, da, da. Very soon, the other sailors said that she was as good as them, but Grania Whale knew she was better. On her way back from Spain, the ship was attacked. Grania was told to go below and hide, but instead she climbed up the mast. There she spotted a pirate about to kill her father, so she bravely jumped down onto the pirate's back and saved her father's life. The crew drove off the enemy and cheered for Grania Whale. Now, later, Grania Whale met Don Laflarty, a Galway chieftain's son. They loved each other and were married and had three children, Owen, Maeve and Murrow. Donald was always fighting for more land and power and so was known as Donald loved the battles. He died while fighting the Joyce clan. The clan tried to take over Donald's castle but Grania Whale drove them away. Aren't the illustrations fantastic? They're beautiful. Donald's family, the O'Flaherty clan, would not let Grania Whale be their new leader. So she went back to Mayo with her children, her sailors and her ships, and became leader of the O'Malley clan. There's the Joyce clan, and there they are, cross. With castles all over the west coast of Ireland, Grania Whale ruled the seas and islands. She became known as the Pirate Queen. The Pirate Queen had many adventures. One night during a terrible storm, she heard about a shipwreck. Risking her life on the wild ocean, she bravely rescued Hugh de Lacey, a young man from Wexford. Another time, Grania Whale was sailing down the east coast and stopped at Hull Castle for a rest. But the, but the gates were locked and she was told to go away because the family were having their dinner. So was the doggy. Fiery Grania Whale saw the Lord's grandson playing outside and she kidnapped him. She said that she would return the child if the Lord promised never to lock the gates of Hull Castle and to always set an extra place at the table. He agreed and his grandson was returned home safe and sound. After several years, Grania Whale married again. Her husband was Richard in Iron Burke. Their son, Tibbet, was born at sea. Algerian pirates attacked Grania Whale's ship and came on board. After giving birth to Tibbet, Grania Whale rushed out of her cabin to help her crew defeat the pirates. She returned home with not just a captured ship, but a new baby as well. Ah, isn't that the cutest story? Richard Bingham, the English governor of Connacht, was Grania Whale's greatest enemy. He arrested her sons Morrow and Tibbet, and this made Grania Whale furious. So she, 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 so she sailed to England to meet Queen Elizabeth and make a deal. Grania Whale did not speak English, and the Queen had no Irish, so they spoke to each other in Latin. Queen Elizabeth agreed to release her sons and move Richard Bingham out of Ireland. In return, Grania Whale promised to stop attacking English ships. 
But years later, Queen Elizabeth sent Bingham back to Ireland, so Gronyway went back to her old ways too. She remained a fearless leader of both land and sea, the Pirate Queen of Mayo. Now here's the timeline. 1530, Gronya is, is born in County Mayo. 1546, she marries uh, Donal Uncoga O'Flaherty. Donal is killed in battle in 1560. Uh, 1564, Grania returns to Mayo and settles on Clare Island, where she becomes uh, the Pirate Queen. 1565, she rescues Hugh, Hugh de Lacey from a uh, shipwreck. Uh, 1566, marries Richard and Iron Burke. 1567, her son Tibbet is born while at sea. Uh, 1583, her husband Richard and Burke Iron dies. 1584, Grony rebels against Richard Bingham. 1593, Bingham arrests Tibbet and Murrow. 1593, Grony says to London, makes an agreement with Queen Elizabeth I to free Tibbet and Murrow. 1594, Rich Bingham is recalled to England. And 1603, Grony Whale dies at Rockfleet Castle, age 73. Wow. And this is a lot of did you knows. Did you know, I'll just read a couple of them. Did you know that Grony Whale defended against the Joyce clan is the castle that, I make loads of mistakes when I'm reading. The castle that Grony Whale defeated against the Joyce clan is now called Hens Castle. Uh, she was very close to her daughter Maeve. Maeve married another, another Richard Burke known as the Devil's Hook. And over here in the, the right far right here, you can visit Clear Island. Home to Grania Whale by taking the ferry for Rona Key, west of Lewisburg. Uh, the journey takes just 10 minutes. I've been there. It's a lovely spot. I've been on that ferry too. And um, that's it. If you happen to pick this book up. And here we go. There are the books. Ironopedia, Historypedia, Folkloropedia. Excellent books. Well worth reading. Brilliantly illustrated. And here's Cathy Fatty Burke, which is, is an Irish illustrator. And she lives in Amsterdam. And John Burke is Fatty's dad. He's a retired primary school teacher and principal, and he lives in Waterford. I would highly recommend those other books by those two. And thank you very much for listening to me, um, Stop Start and all the rest. And hopefully you're having an okay time. And hopefully I'll have another couple of these again. Bye bye.